So I want to mount this vise to the workbench without bolting it down. This is a corner of a workbench and here's a cabinet so I have no room there. And then on the other side it's the same thing. There's like a wall here on this corner so I need it somewhere out here in the middle. But I don't want to put holes in the workbench. So I need to somehow, maybe what I'm thinking is I'll bolt this down to a wooden platform, a piece of, like a square piece of uh, wood, and then I'll put a lip on that piece of wood here. And then, so now you have like this L-shaped kind of a situation, and then I can just clamp that down. Got my board marked up, and I'm just gonna get this cut out. I ended up clamping both of these pieces of wood together, that way I can just make two cuts. Got my two pieces cut out and I'm just going to glue them together. Clogged up. Just gonna go ahead and let this dry for a little bit. I forgot to cut both pieces together. So I gotta cut this piece, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut outside of this line. That way, if I have to sand anything down, I can sand it down to meet this exactly. All right, let that piece dry. Just have a couple more fasteners to put in over here and over here. A little sanding and then that'll be it. We'll see if this thing's gonna work. So here's what it's looking like so far. I just uh, I just sanded it down a little bit and now I'm gonna add the, uh, the mounting holes for the vise. If you guys ever get a chance, pick up a uh, one of these transfer punch sets. And what, what this will allow you to do is perfectly uh, center center up your your hole and leave a mark exactly dead center of your hole so they're pretty cool they come in obviously several different sizes I've got some pretty uh, massive ones over there but um, and, and it might be overkill for something like this but I mean if, if I have the tool and I'm, I'm gonna use it so you know, it goes in like it goes in like this. You hit it, it marks it. Mark all the holes up. Drill it out. And it's like a perfect, uh, perfect punch every time. Because there's not a lot of side material here on the wood. What I'm gonna do instead of using, um, instead of using like a lag bolt and driving it into the wood, I'm just gonna end up using a regular bolt, washer, and nut just to secure it on there because I don't want it to risk blowing out the side of this wood with just driving a, a, a lag bolt in there. Um, and I feel using this method is probably going to be good enough, especially with three points of contact all the way around. I don't think it'll get blown out while I'm using it, but if it does, then it does, and I'll have to just build another one or just forget this whole idea. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll just uh, we'll just have to wait and see and find out.
See, I made the mistake of drilling all the way through and instead of trying to counter bore on the back end first and then making my final hole. So now I have to try to counter, bolt, counter bore an existing hole. To help center up this guide here, what I did is I, I went ahead and put a bolt in there. I'm gonna put a nut on here. I'm gonna tighten it down. Nothing crazy. Just I want to make sure it just doesn't it doesn't move on me. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this guide that I made. And first I'm gonna stick this in here like this. Okay. And now, once I have everything lined up, and I know that this socket is on this nut, this should be pretty centered. So I'll then clamp this piece of wood down to my part, and then I can, once I have everything clamped, I can then remove this, and this should be, this should be pretty centered here. Here, I'll try to give you a, uh, a shot of that. It's not gonna be perfect, but you can get pretty close and it'll look good and, and it'll be 100% fully functional for what I need. The part is now clamped down and now uh, I just have to drill out this hole. It's a lot faster if you don't make this mistake and drill your holes out and then need something to be counterboard and, and sunk into the wood. It's better to just go ahead and make your, your counterboard and then drill the hole that you need, but you know. In this case, I made that mistake, and now I uh, had to take all kinds of time to to sink this uh, to sink this bolt. But anyway, that's how you uh, that's how you counter bore a hole into uh, into an existing hole. All right, I've got it bolted down. I've got two clamps on there right now. Just, sec just securing the very bottom lip of this bench because that's what it was. That was the whole purpose of this, so I didn't have to drill into the into the workbench. So I've got two clamps, one three inch, one six inch. I think what, what I'm going to do is is I'm going to go buy two more three inch clamps and just use three three inch clamps all the way across the bottom lip there. But as it is right now, look at this. That's shaking. That's shaking the whole bench. The top of the, the bench is flexing, but that's on there really sturdy, okay? So I guess uh, the next thing to do is just uh, figure out what the limitations are with this thing and this, this the way it's set up, and then just use it. This one's gonna be a good test. That's on there. That is on there. Wow. Whew. Oh. Wow, finally. Finally. That was a good, that was a good first test. That, uh, that stud was on there. I mean, it was really on there. All right, what else?
I'm gonna try this big old piece. It's 5.30 in the morning and the whole house is sleeping, so I might have to take a break. Wait till everybody gets up before I start pounding on this thing because it's about to get loud. <clears throat> I'm gonna try it anyway. This dead blow hammer, a little bit quieter, so that's good. I'm pretty sure I still woke up everyone in the house, so I'll be hearing about that later. All right, so after that last test of me chopping wood with this thing, I think I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be all right. Um, you know, I, initially I was gonna drill holes into this side of this wood here, and then through the plat through this platform that I made, and then into the workbench, and then bolt it down instead of having these three clamps. But I, I, but now I'm going back to drilling into the workbench, and that's something that I didn't want to do you know, in the first place, but I think these clamps are gonna work fine. This is a three inch, a six inch, and a three inch clamp down there. Uh, I was gonna do all six inch clamps and just make it extra secure, but I don't think it needs it. Uh, but uh, but yeah, and this is just a, uh, this is an old, this is an old ax blade that I clamped down and then started, you know, chopping wood with it and it seemed to, seemed to work out fine. So yeah, I think the setup is gonna work work out great but uh yeah it's not permanently attached i didn't have to drill holes in my workbench um if i had a if i like i showed you earlier if i had a, a corn an open corner i would have bolted this down permanently but i don't have that option so i had to do something like this or try something like this and i think it's going to work out you know at least for now but anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, i hope everyone's doing well and and feeling good and you know, getting to do whatever it is that you love doing. So I will, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.